the upgraded MiG-29 got an upgrade. Let's talk a little bit about it. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt. Thank you all the members and patrons. Make sure to subscribe and we are flying with the SMT with the new R-77 missile. Uh, let's try to be effective with this thing. Um, it is kind of a divided in opinion aircraft between the community. A lot of people love this thing. A lot of people don't like it because it doesn't turn as well as maybe people thought it would turn. Um, it's kind of weird that an Yak-41 turns more than this, I gotta say, but uh, still, I mean, who am I to say that that's wrong, right? So we are flying very high over here, and of course we're gonna try to kill some people from a very far distance, because that's what I like to do, right? I'm gonna fire just one missile, because I don't want to miss um, or lose too many missiles. The good part about this aircraft, and probably the most advantageous thing about it, is that you can basically notch a target while you continue to um, illuminate it for the missile, right? So, uh, for example, here I'm just uh, literally flying 90 degrees to the left. The target probably is not even seeing me. If you shot a missile, it's probably go not gonna track too much. Um, but I'm still able to maintain the lock. And he did turn. And my missile is losing the target and gaining the target again. Um, let's try to help the missile. I don't think he will have the energy. Because he did went cold. I mean, probably is smart to do that since the missile is just behind him. Yeah, the missile missed. He went for the um, chef. That was kind of sad, but oh well, right? It happens, we made him go defensive and not kill friendly targets at the end of the day. Mm. I don't want to waste more missiles. But nobody is really flying high, I'm actually flying maybe too high even. 40 kilometers, Jesus Christ. From there to there, it's 40 kilometers? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, stop changing <laughs> targets. Yeah, let's try to get that one. Yeah, there we go. The missile already went active. Oh no, I hear something. Oh no. My god, man, you are annoying, aren't you? Oh my god. My god, there's so many people attacking me here. I'm completely alone. Jesus Christ. I was actually avoiding most of the missiles, but yeah, my team is already dead. I think that's the major thing, isn't it? Um, at the end of the day, you are fully dependent on your team actually doing successfully in the match. Because if not, that happens. Multiple targets attacking from multiple directions. Let's get to another one. So let's, let's get another battle in. Uh, but I gotta say, guys, it is a lot harder to get PVR kills. Uh, it was a lot easier back in the day, you know. That guy's already being fired upon. I'm not gonna shoot at the same target. But yeah, it used to be easier. I don't know if you remember. But when the R27ER got at it, it was honestly so easy to get a 50 kilometer kill. And uh, now it's kind of hard to actually do that. Even with the R27ER. That has more range than... Uh, why are you changing the, the, the target radar? Um, it was a lot, you know, easier back in the day. But I don't think it's due to the missiles themselves. It's probably due to the uh, players. Yes, the players are becoming a lot... Um, 
a lot more careful. What is happening here? Shoot the missile, man. Um, they are a lot more careful. People are going cold. They are notching targets. They are actually properly doing stuff, right? Uh, which is something that... Um, you know, people didn't do back in the day. I was just waiting for the kill. Yeah, we got one. Nice. I thought I was going to miss again, but... Um, yeah, it's it's a lot harder nowadays to actually get 50 kilometer kills and stuff. Um, and that's just because of the players. You know, the players are... Again, they're... Um, a lot more careful of how they fly, you know? And... It's, it's good that people are doing that, because then we can have more advanced missiles without having too much trouble, right? Mm. Is that a bot? What is that? It's an aircraft. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire an R-77. I do have the range. I do have the altitude and everything, so it, it might get the target. Oh no, it's a bot. Oh my god. Why there's these bots that don't do anything like in the middle of the match, right? They need to change that. I mean, I even did a video about it. Like, why not add like uh, B fifty twos and stuff in a formation, stuff like that, right? Not just one like some Yak thirty eight not doing much in the middle. Uh, I should probably bring some R twenty seven ETs. I gotta say, because uh, you never know when you're gonna get a shot at a target that guy is probably that right yeah that one is that and the other one I missed the missile okay no problem I'm too fast oh my god I'm so fast There we go, another one. R-73 is always doing the job. Oh. And another one. So, uh, yeah, although it is harder to get uh, the BVR kills, you know, kills from 50, 40, 50 kilometers, because players are, um, you know, being more careful, at the same time, um, the missiles are amazing at close ranges, right? Oh god. It's kinda scary. I only have the gun. Yeah, there we go. So, um... Yeah, just bear that in mind, you know, when you are flying it. I probably do will do a video about how to do and how to fly with the Fox Trees, in my opinion and stuff. But yeah, let's get to the last battle. Um, but yeah, the MiG-29 is very, very powerful. So let's go again. Uh, we are using the R twenty seven ET to try to get some some stealth kills later later down the line. Jesus, later down the line of the match. Um, and yeah, want to use the normal TWS because it is a little bit more reliable in some senses. Okay. It's just easier to use. Mm, those are missiles, aren't they? I don't know if that's an aircraft or a missile. I'm gonna fire one. And then we're gonna notch a little bit. Basically notch. It's not really notching, right? It's basically cranking, but... It is at the same time. Almost a notch in this aircraft. Because you can turn the radar antenna to like a 50, uh, a 90 degree position. The target is turning away. We might miss that missile again. Again, people are just very, very, like, look at this. Everybody's turning, right? Nobody's maintaining, like, look at the targets as well. Nobody's actually maintaining um, a position where they can just be offensive while doing that because everybody's scared of missiles if you don't do that that happens right there you die for demo 20 so yeah as people are doing right now my god i heard something uh but um so yeah you really really need to be careful with that 
because a lot of people are you know doing this so basically means that the missiles are a lot less effective um, but not because of the missile themselves because people are just getting um, more careful you know they're flying in a more careful way this is an easy target to shoot at but they will probably shoot at as well two targets there me and the F-15 are the only ones going for them I'm gonna fire on this target and then we're gonna go to the other one with the R-27 uh, he fired as well why would you uh. yeah my missile I think yeah it's already going for oh oh god Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. So let's fire an R27. Um, it is tracking. The R27 has an amazing RCCM right now. Should be good. Yeah. So, uh, again, I mean, the R77s, they are pretty good. But R27s are still very much usable and they are very, very good missiles. Um, is the the radar ones usable as usable? No, they're not. You know, the radar ones um, they will have the range, but uh, since people are getting this like careful uh, with their shots and stuff, it means that uh, it won't matter the energy that you have in the missile itself, right? So yeah. That guy is turning into me. Yeah, that was a kill. I don't want to fly directly to the v to the grip in there. The G11 is attacking him, so I'm gonna just fly kind of a in a different manner, just to to have a little bit of time to fly lower. Yeah, the F15 got him, but yeah, I had to be careful at those ranges, eight seven kilometers. An aim on 20 shot is really not really helpful. Uh, not healthy at all, right? There's a target right here somewhere. Right there. It's a sparrow. Ooh, I almost crashed. <laughs> He's gonna get killed. There we go. He focused more on shooting at me than defending from my R73. That was his mistake. The R73 is still, like, for sure one of the best missiles in the game. It doesn't matter uh, what you are flying. Especially an F-15, actually, because the F-15 produces a lot of heat. Okay, there is at least two targets there. Still gotta be careful. Hmm, that guy's dead. Yeah, that's really not good. Yeah, no. He's scared of me launching an R-77 on him. Okay, mm. crit. There is an F-15 somewhere around here. This computer is just weird. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, that guy is dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, I wasn't I didn't have the time. I just didn't have the time to go down quick enough. Um but yeah guys, um I think the Mirage is gonna get killed, yes. At least we got four kills. The last one was the F-15. I should have been more careful. I just didn't have a lot of energy. It was dogfighting the Mirage and seeing that the F-15 was coming. But yeah, guys, uh, the SMT, again, it's still amazing. It really, really re is one of the top dogs. You gotta be careful with some things. Uh, like, the majority of the aircraft, they will have some form of drawback here and there. Uh, but I gotta be honest, 
taking at least one R27 ET is a good idea. Maybe three R73 uh, 77s and ch like one R27, uh, but uh, maybe not. I mean, just use the two R27 ETs. They're amazing missiles. People will not even see them. They are waiting for an R77. They might even drop like um, Chef and yeah, it's it's a great, great missile to use and a great aircraft to use. I love this thing. My favorite favorite aircraft of the game for sure. I love my MiG 29s, of course. Uh, but yeah, guys, I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about the SMT with the R77s. See ya, guys. Bye.